We're currently in the Maldives and we're going to show people how to recycle plastic in our precious plastic shipping container. Hey, we're currently in the Maldives, in one of their beautiful little islands. Wait, I, I gotta show you this. And they have over a thousand of these little beautiful paradises. However, they are in trouble. Shaheen is gonna explain more about that. Basically, they have a big plastic problem, which is such a waste. <laughs> waste in the Maldives is, is not it's a challenge because we don't have an infrastructure and the waste creation is everywhere and everywhere we burn. So in the islands, they just go to one spot and it gets burnt. But in Male, what happens is it comes here behind me and it goes to Thilafushi, which is the garbage island. It was a lagoon, it was a beautiful lagoon and we just created a huge island that's bigger than the capital now. So what is happening is that uh, we have a lot of non-biodegradable material and chemicals going into the ocean. We know, we all know that plastic is bad and it goes in the ocean, something, you know, it's, it's not good. But it really doesn't click that it's impacting, you know, the air we breathe, it's impacting the food we eat, it is impacting the, the, the islands. Basically, just need to start doing more. Yes, we, start, we need to start doing more, yeah. Okay, so the Maldives is here, in the middle of the Indian Ocean, a very remote place. Access to tools and materials are limited, but plastic is flowing in from the ocean. So the plan is to install a recycling workspace to work with ocean plastic. And we're getting it there by building it inside a shipping container. We're getting a container. It's a bit tight. <laughs> So we finished the two holes in the container, um, we grinded them out and also cleaned up the edges so we can weld towards it. So the container is ready, time for transport. And this might take a while. So, Cyril, could you explain a bit more why we're doing this? <laughs> so, yeah, my name is Cyril and I run Palais for the Oceans, an environmental organization, really, that is building all its hope on collaboration, creativity, and eco-innovation. When we started Palais and we renamed Marine Litter into Ocean Plastic, the intention was to create value for this trash because back then nobody wanted to pick it up. Nobody wanted to recycle it. Nobody saw value in it. And our intention was to say, this material is more valuable than anything else because it's charged up with that passion, with that goodwill of people who are going out there and collecting it. So we declared purpose the new luxury and we said, ocean plastic is the most valuable material even if it's made from trash. And that's exactly what the name Precious Plastic says as well. 
Yeah, so that's the plan for this workspace. A place to research, inspire and educate people about ocean plastic. Can you show us your little plants? <laughs> Excellent. Lovely. So now we can start exploring the potential of all this ocean plastic. Figuring out by doing. Collecting, shredding, sorting, melting, transforming. Testing out different kinds of waste that we found around the beach. Packs, ropes, nets. It's all usable. We just need to figure out what to make. There's a world of possibilities with ocean plastic.